um, hi, these are WWE SmackDown spoilers for the 18th of June 2010. WWE SmackDown starts with CM Punk gloating about making Take a Tap and his forgettable state. Suddenly the lights flicker, flicker and it goes dark and the Undertaker appears in the ring. Um, CM Punk cowers until he pokes the Undertaker and reveals him as Luke Gallows. They laugh until Kane hits the scene, but Swagger blindsides him. Four on one, as the masked Straight Edge Society member joins until Mysterio and Big Show make a save. The Straight Edge Society run and runs and they end up giving Kane and a giving Kane a six one nine and choke slam from last week. Sorry I got a bit lost there, but sorry. Um Vance Vance Archer and Kurt Hawkins defeated M V P and Christian. Not much to note. Hawkins with an elbow drop on Christian to win after breaking up a kill switch. Be down on MVP after the match. Razor was in on Lakel and they mock her for only winning on superstars and wearing Joker's makeup. Poor Caval by standing by. Back on SmackDown, um, Vicky has... Dolph Ziggler in jean shorts and a tool belt to hang a picture for her. She checks his, his she checks out his rump and yellows Chavo. Mars just walks in and then walks right back out. JTG defeated Chavo with his running neck breaker. Post match JTG hands it up with the crowd and brings in three little kids to dance with. The crowd loves it. Um Kofi Kingston tells Josh he'll be he'll bring McIntyre a fight on Sunday. Drew Drew McIntyre versus Kofi for the Kofi Kingston for the title on Sunday at Fatal Four Way pay per view. Um, Drew McIntyre enters to face Teddy Long. Teddy's music hits, but he doesn't show until Drew reminds him of his consequences. Drew brought a personal security force with him. This was a really long and drawn out segment. Um, Drew ha Drew's mic died on him, but it was effective. Basically, Drew forced Teddy in a full suit. Um, to get on his news and call Drew the chosen one and lie down for the three count. After Drew won the match, he stopped Teddy and was about to scout drop him until Kofi came out for the save. He called by security and Drew pounded on him until Matt Hardy ran in from the crowd to attack him. Security got Matt two and Drew ended up giving them the both the scout jobs in the middle of the ring. Doesn't come off on T V well but Drew got a lot of heat. Kelly Kelly defeated Layla with the K two. They actually showed some good moves. Um Vicky came out with to a massive heat, only got worse it really gets to the point where you can't hear Dolph Sigler's um, entrance music. Dolph Sigler defeated Chris Masters after the zigzag. Masters dominated until he went for a slam, but Dolph quickly locked the sleeper in. He later broke the master lock on the ropes and kicked Masters in the shin to set up the zigzag. Jack Swagger's Jack Swagger dedicates his win on Sunday to his Father's Day to his dad. Main event saw the Big Show and Rey Mysterio beat CM Punk and Jack Swagger. Mysterio got a double teamed until he made the hot tag to show. 
um, to show choke slammed Rizzo, 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 until he got the hot tag to show. Um, choke slam Rizzo first into a DDT and show tagged back out. Mysterio re reversed a pump handle slam attempt by Jack Swagger in the sword of a back stabber for the win. Post match, Kane choke slammed everyone but gave a tombstone to Ray. Um, he got on the mic and promised Sunday would be fatal. And then he did the Undertaker's kneel and open a casket on the stage with surrounded by plums of a fire. Kane left and uh, left the open casket and walked out of the end of the show. That was it for the end of SmackDown spoilers. I know that wasn't what the I know that wasn't very clear and I mucked up a lot on it, but I just ask you to subscribe to the channel and visit WZRonline.com. Cheers. Bye.